Have you heard of hardship grants? We've been getting a lot of questions about hardship grant programs recently, so let's review what you may be eligible for, how you can get those funds, and what you need to be aware of along the way. Let's be honest, there are a lot of scammers out there looking to make a quick buck off of people who just need a little help. It makes me absolutely sick that there are so many people out there who want to make your life harder when you're already struggling, and that's why our team at Low Income Relief works so hard to find resources that you can trust. So let's take a moment and answer all the questions we've been getting about hardship grants. First and foremost, a lot of people are looking for an all-cash grant with no strings attached that you can just use for anything. Now, if you've followed this channel for a while, then you'll already know that that's not how any of this works. There are a lot of great grant programs out there that can help you with legitimate needs, but it's very, very rare to find any program that will just hand everyone cash for any reason with no criteria or strings attached. More often than not, hardship grants can be used for specific needs and are only available to people who meet specific criteria, but there are a lot of programs out there, so there is one that might work for you. Let's go over a few of the best grant programs I found, and then I have something really helpful I want to share with you at the end, so be sure to stay tuned. First, CORE, also known as Children of Restaurant Employees, offers a grant program for restaurant employees that are supporting children. This includes people who work in hotel food service, concessions, cafeterias, catering, fine dining, casual dining, fast food, food trucks, and others. They can provide hardship grants to help with your rent, utilities, medical supplies, therapy, prescriptions, medications, travel costs, funeral expenses, groceries, clothing, or other essentials when you experience a qualifying financial hardship. Again, that's the hardship grant from CORE. And we do have more information about that on our website as well. The St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund can help provide financial assistance with rent, utilities, vehicle payments, insurance, prescriptions, all sorts of things when you're out of work or recovering from an illness. In order to be eligible, you must have a Class A CDL license and meet other requirements. VFW's Unmet Needs Grant can provide up to $1,500 for basic life needs for veterans, service members, and their families. Basic life needs can include a lot of things, including mortgage payments, rent, repairs, insurance, vehicle expenses, utilities, food, clothing, diapers, formula, child care, medical bills, prescriptions, and other essential needs. As you can see, a lot of these hardship grants are only available to people who work or have worked in certain fields. For example, we've got additional details on the Actors Fund, the American Legion, Army Emergency Relief, as well as hardship grants specifically for people who work in farming and agriculture, restaurant and food service, justice workers, musicians, performers, truckers, and others. You can get the information on all of those programs on our website at lowincomerelief.com slash hardship grants. There are also other grants that are exclusively for people with certain diagnoses. For example, the Glenn Garcelon Foundation grant can provide up to $1,000 for patients with a primary brain tumor in the United States. Live Like Bella offers up to $400 for families of children with pediatric cancer. We have more information about grants like that that focus on specific diagnoses on our website as well. However, these programs still leave a lot of people out. And that's understandable because a lot of the organizations that offer these have a really tight focus and very limited funding, so they couldn't possibly help everyone all of the time. But what are you supposed to do if you don't qualify for one of these programs? Fortunately, we have a solution. Many states offer something called general assistance or general welfare. These programs are often run at the county or township level and are designed to help people who are experiencing financial hardship with short-term expenses. According to CBPP, these programs are available in Alaska, Hawaii, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Indiana, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Nebraska, Rhode Island, South Dakota, Utah, Vermont, Washington, and Washington, D.C. Some states, like Washington, also offer a Veterans Assistance Fund that is operated at the county level. Veterans can contact their State Department of Veterans Affairs, and that is the State Department of Veterans Affairs, not the federal VA, for more information about these programs and how to apply. There are also other hardship grants that you may be able to get, but many people don't think of these particular programs as hardship grants. I'm talking about things like food stamps, TANF cash assistance, Section 8 housing vouchers, Medicaid, weatherization assistance, LIHEAP, programs like that. 
That's what we specialize in here at Low Income Relief. And we found programs that can help you get hardship grants to help with your rent, funeral costs, utilities, medical bills, food costs, and so much more. So for more information about any of these programs, please visit lowincomerelief.com slash hardship dash grants. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more ways to save money and get free stuff.